Hello, BookTube. Jim here for Mystery and Mayhem. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Criminali MJ Fiber RC and another Bibliophile Reads for a lovely live feed that they uh, that they broadcast this morning regarding the Read What You Own Challenge. That's what I love about BookTube. It's all a community and uh, everybody can just get involved and have a lot of fun doing that kind of stuff. So I want to get out of the way today. My uh, My book giveaway for things have gotten worse since we last spoke by Eric LaRocca. I was hoping to get more names, but I have three people commented who, uh, who were interested. So I was hoping to get my lovely assistant to, uh, to draw names, but she's working today. So you're stuck with me. So I have three names in the hat and I'm going to draw it right now. And good luck to whoever I choose. Ah, so Kurt Woods is the winner. So Kurt, I'm going to put my email down below. And if you want to email me your address, I will, I will pack that book up and ship it off to you. So congratulations. The book is all yours. Um, I wanted to show you what I'm reading or what I read this last week for the final week of Occult Detective October. I read Sherlock Holmes versus Dracula and the Holmes Dracula file. Now, this one here, I, I, I've read it before. This was my second time reading it. I read it years ago. I, I remember enjoying it the first time, and I enjoyed it this time around. But um, I noticed with this one, uh, it's, it's kind of retelling Bram Stoker's Dracula, but inserting Sherlock Holmes and Watson into the story. So, I mean, the story has already been predetermined by the characters from 100 years ago, Van Helsing, Seward, Harker, and Dracula. And basically, Watson and Sherlock Holmes are just inserted into the story as observers. I mean, they, they do a lot of stuff without really accomplishing anything or affecting the outcome of the story. They're just swept along. So that's a little bit of a weakness of this story, but it reads like a Sherlock Holmes story. And it was very enjoyable and very atmospheric. So, you know, I, I'm happy to have it on my shelf. And it is a good book. And Lauren D'Estima, I, I do enjoy his work. He's a, he's a favorite author of mine. And I read The Holmes Dracula File by Fred Saberhagen. I'm enjoying it a lot better. Now, it, it's not coinciding with the Dracula story. This takes place six years after the Dracula story. Um but in this one, it's told by, and in, 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 there's two stories going on. Uh, there's Dracula telling his story in the first person, and then it jumps back and forth to Watson telling, you, you know, the remainder of the story. So the story gets told between the two of them, the first person, Dracula, what happens to him, and then Watson, what's going on with Sherlock Holmes and, and Watson and, you know, their interpretation of what's going on. And, um, Basically, I mean, Dracula in this, he's not, he's not a bad guy. Or he's basically one of the protagonists. So they're basically going up against a group that wants to, um, to release the plague at the Queen's Jubilee in uh, um, 1897. So, uh, but like I said, I'm enjoying this much, much more than the Sherlock Holmes versus Dracula novel. Um, so, yeah, I... I don't have much else to say. I just wanted to share that with you and get updated on the, uh, on the book giveaway. Um, I'm going to be doing the read what you own challenge this year. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to do what Ollie said, shop my bookshelves. I'm going to choose about 50 books, well, 50 books off my shelves. I have so many that I haven't read and, and I just, I've got to stop buying books and I've got to read what I have. You know, but I went on a couple of book buying binge in expectations of this, and I think I showed you some in a prior video. Um, uh, I'll probably, sh maybe I'll show you all of what I did for the book haul in the next video. But uh, yeah, I want to choose 50 books. I'll probably list them on Goodreads. I want to journal them somehow so I can keep track of them. And um, what, what I choose uh, I'll, I'll probably come on here and share them with you. Probably not as I go. I'll, I'll do a whole list ahead of time and show you what I'm going to do. 
And then as I'm reading them throughout the next few months, um, I'll, I'll review them and show you what, uh, what I thought of them. Um, I guess, I mean, for this, the rules are a little, they're a little flexible. I mean, basically I think what everybody's doing is kind of setting their own rules, um, more or less. So I, I'm going to do 50 books. Maybe I might give myself to the beginning of April to read the 50. And also if I find that I'm doing really well with the 50 and really quickly, I might revise that to a hundred books, 75 to a hundred books and see how I do there. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I, that's what I have planned. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been watching a lot of videos, a lot of booktubers lately. There was, there was a couple that kind of, uh, I thought was really good was, uh, Gareth over at the uh, book songs and other magic talking about, um, you know, eBooks versus physical, physical books. And he showed a lot of his books that the physical books that he loved that you have an attachment to. And, uh, I think, uh, Michael K. Vaughn dealt with that as well. And he showed a lot of his physical books and I'd like to do a video for that too, because there's so many books that I just feel so attached to and that I'll never get rid of. And I, I'm not an ebook guy. I don't, I, I have Kindle on my phone. I've read one ebook on that Kindle just for the sake of trying it out, but, uh, but I'm not an ebook guy. I'm a physical book guy and nothing to take nothing away from any, people who do have Kindle or Kobo and read ebooks. I mean, that's, you, you do you. And I think that's, that's fantastic, but, uh, I just can't see myself doing that. But again, <laughs> that, that being said, I do have a problem and I do buy a lot of books. I do have way too many books. So, I mean, to read my books on an ebook would not necessarily be a bad thing. I mean, I've always said that the, that the, uh, the story being told is more valuable than the paper it's printed on. So, I mean, uh, you know, it's all about the story. It's all about the words. It's not necessarily about a physical book, but uh, I still grow attached to physical books and I, I love them so much. So yeah. Um, Maybe, uh, maybe in another video, I'll, I'll, I'll choose a few of the physical books that I really love and I'll, I'll share them with you. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to do just a real quick update with you and, uh, and get that, uh, book giveaway out of the way and good luck to Kurt and Kurt again, I'll put my email down below and you can email me your address and I'll get that off to you. So take care everybody and I'll talk to you soon. Keep reading.